Welcome back. I'm joined by my well, super pack tonight. Talk to the contributor Esther Cracker, the comedian and podcaster James Barr, the political journalist David Santina, and from the United States, the YouTuber Pearl Davis. Well, welcome to all of you. So I want to start with this uh, big furore in the House of Commons today because, well, it was basically all about this show in a way because Keir Starmer opened up by attacking the Prime Minister about his admission to me that they failed to hit their waiting list targets. And then he went on to mock him about the bet that we made for charity over the Rwanda plan. Um, but then things turned what many think to be quite ugly because the Prime Minister said this. And it's a bit rich, Mr Speaker, to hear about promises from someone who's broken every single promise he was elected on. I mean, I think I counted almost 30 in the last year. Pensions, planning, peerages, public sector pay, tuition fees, childcare, second referendums, defining a woman. Although, although in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. Of all the weeks to say that, when Brianna's mother is in this chamber, shame, parading as a man of integrity when he's got absolutely no responsibility. Well, the contentious element of that is, of course, that uh, Brianna Jai's mother, Esther, was up in the gallery. Now, it turned out she wasn't there, actually, at the moment that this joke was made by the Prime Minister. He would say a pointed remark, making a point at Keir Starmer's expense. But, Ava, it's caused a lot of furore, this, falling out, saying that it was very callous, inappropriate and so on. What's your view? I... I, I'm, I'm really upset about it. I'm sad. I'm sad for her mother and I'm sad for every trans person in this country that had to witness that today. I think the worst... For those who don't know, her mother was a transgender girl who was brutally killed by two complete psychos and it was yes. her daughter. Bri yes, Brianna Jai was, uh, yes, was killed and she was, she was a trans woman. Mm. Um, but, you know, what's really upsetting about this is that we don't even afford trans people dignity in death. I think that the way that that is going to now be marked in Hansard in the parliamentary book forever, I think that is shame on the country. Mm. I'm sad to hear it. James? Yeah, I agree. I think it's utterly shameful. It's just disgusting. I'm so annoyed with Rishi Sunak. He has absolutely no backbone. In the same week that he made a lazy bet with the devil about refugees, he's now... The devil? That's he's me. He's now made a it's joke. Me exactly. He's now made a you're joke the about devil. another minority, and it's just disgusting. Well, OK, you're not calling me the devil, uh, for one. Uh, I don't have horns. Um, but secondly... Um, I don't know, Esther. I think I'm missing I, something I, I, here. I, I think the thing is, can we get some perspective here? Rishi Sunak has made this comment about Keir Starmer being unable to define a woman many times. And, the and only to be thing... clear about the background to that, Keir Starmer spent most of the last two years... Avoiding it. Uh, ..refusing to say what a, what woman, a woman was. Yes, exactly. Then eventually saying women could have penises. Then he said, well, actually, 99% of, of women don't, have, don't have a penis, meaning that 1% do. And the one yeah, time 1 that time. he chooses to defend himself or is himself on his record is the unfortunate time that Brianna Jai's mother is in, is in the comments. I'm sorry. Look, it was in poor taste, given the circumstances. But at the end of the day, it's a very valid point. Horrible, no, it's not. It's something, in poor no, it's a taste very every point. day. Because it's a very valid point. Because the thing is, this whole issue about, you know, trans rights doesn't just, you know... It's not based on one thing. It's also based on women feeling their, like their rights... No, no, no. Let's hear what you no, said. But, no, but that's trans the point rights. that's being made. Trans rights. These are politicians... A right to exist. So, hang on. Let's, so, let's hang talk on. about... Hang on. We've talked no, into Westminster into a gossip fest. Nobody is disputing that trans people have rights to fairness and equality. Yes, they are. No, they're yes, not. Yes, they are. Here's what I'm disputing. I'm sorry, but it's 100% of women do not have a penis. Can Let's you... just start with a biological fact. Can you imagine? Right? This was not an attack on this poor woman who lost her daughter. It had nothing to do with her it had whatsoever. Everything this to was do an attack on Keir Starmer's inability to actually stand up for women's rights and to say unequivocally that women do not have a penis. That's which, not by the way, is a fact. It's it's standing not standing it is standing up for women's yeah, rights. Piers, the moment I, you try and pretend woman, women have a penis, a you are destroying women's rights. Trans Look, women listen. are women. No, they're not, OK? Yes, they are. And I'm sorry, unless you are... I don't well, how do you an define MMA a woman? How do you define a woman? having your skull crushed you A woman is a biological man. female. That's it. You will it. not understand it. I'm sorry. A female... Unless you're, you're someone... That's it. Who's, who's, ..who's having your child having to... Sh your female child having to share a bathroom with a biological man. You will never understand what it means for us to sit there and pretend like trans women. I think when you're drilling it down to biological men, you have to talk about women that have had hysterectomies. Are they no longer women? Let me bring in Pearl. I'm going to bring in Pearl. Been waiting patiently. Pearl across the pond. Um, 
A lot of people clutching their pearls about all this, Pearl, ironically. But I just think that in the end, what Rishi Sunak did was in a list of things that he claimed his opponent had made U-turns on, he made the completely valid point, if you take it in its, in its isolation, that actually it was ridiculous to pretend that a percentage of women have a penis. And for that, he's now been branded transphobic. What do you think of that? <laughs> Well, number one, I can't believe you guys are grown adults arguing about what a woman is. Or like, I, I, it blows my mind. Number two, um, I have family members that died of obesity. I still support people's right to make jokes about being fat. Life is hard. Get over it. And number three, um, you know, I'm a semi-pro wow. athlete here in, in the UK. You know, I, I, I play, I play sports in London. And I've actually had to deal with some of the consequences of women being, women's spaces being, you know, having men come in them. Wow. And like, you know, I had a tournament last spring where there was a whole team full of men, you know, just dressed up as women. So is that fair? Well, you know, I, 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 I think, I think right I'd be more threatened by your, your, your recent tweet where you said that 16 year old girls were hotter than 26 year old women. If I was a woman. <laughs> And yes. I saw that tweet and I saw you yes. in a space, yeah. I'd well, be then, terrified. Then, then, then why aren't you why aren't you protesting why aren't you protesting the age of consent laws in the UK if you're really outraged? All all you guys what do is, is, so you you is, is trying to find to one thing out of context. What is that? And you're changing do? the subject really when we're here to talk about so are you. It, is it all right for him to make jokes? Well, People can is, make uh, jokes. Well he it, certainly it wasn't here's the point. Here's the point. He certainly wasn't trying to make a joke at the expense of, yeah. of this poor girl who got murdered or with her mother there deliberately trying to uh, score some point with her there. He was purely making the point, which he's made repeatedly, yeah. that when Keir Starmer can't say what a woman is, mm -hmm. that is ridiculous. And I agree with him about that. Yeah. And I'm not sure that the Prime Minister should be branded transphobic for not thinking that a woman has a penis. But why do you think that? Would you not think that all of this narrative feeds into the hate that is in this no, country? No, absolutely why do you not. Why not think that? Because it's not hateful to state a biological... Look that high suicide rate there is amongst no, trans it, people. It, where do you think that stems from? I have always supported, for example, trans people's rights to fairness and equality. Always, right? I've been repeatedly called transphobic myself for thinking that a six-foot for biological male who becomes a trans woman athlete and starts demolishing biological females in a swimming pool and breaks all records or wants to be on the Olympic team, depriving a woman of a place and so on, that I think that is ridiculous. But that exaggeration I'm not transphobic for thinking that. I'm supporting and defending women's rights. Similarly, Rishi Sunak thinks it is absurd that a political leader in this country should think that a, any woman you know has a penis. You know can what I pose you? Issue, and he's right. Can I pose to you that it's quite possible that Rishi Sunak is a terrible politician and he didn't even understand the attack you know, no, that he I'm sorry, that's, that's that was given to him. Well, I'm not sure what half of his party didn't understand it. Kemi Badnock said this, every murder is a tragedy, we can all agree. None should be trivialised by political point scoring. As a mother, I can imagine the trauma that Esther Guy has endured. It was shameful of Starmer to link his own inability to be clear on the matter of sex and gender directly to her and group. And that's, that's the point. Here's the, here's the issue. We have turned Westminster into a gossip fest because Rishi Sunak has made this point about uh, Keir Starmer's inability to talk about what a woman is for literally months. And we all understood it. But suddenly, when there's an opportunity to score cheap political points and to make the link between that and this poor lady, uh, Brianna Jai's mother, suddenly we're now all outraged by it. This is not the first time Rishi Sunak like has said it, and we know it, but because we've decided to turn our politicians from, from actual politicians who have a job to do to basically reality stars, we're, we're feigning ignorance over the real issue, and that's... Well, it's a bit like... It's a bit, to be honest, it's a bit like the bet which you said was with the devil, all right? Ha ha. I, maybe I should get all hurt and upset about you calling me the devil. My sensitive little skin can't deal yes, with you're it. You're not a minority. You're not likening me like to minority. the most evil creature ever created. A made I'm so creature. distressed, James. I, I want to burst into tears and take you to some you know, human resources committee meeting. Not. Right? I don't care. You can have a laugh at my expense. It's fine, mate. We used to better do it and get away with you're it not a without being arrested. Uh, I am a minority. No, you're not. I'm yes, a middle-aged white not. bloke still on TV. And these, Trust these are the words of the Prime left. Minister. They have an effect on real people. Yes, they why, do. Why weren't you But only when you deliberately, year. wrongly, disingenuously conflate two completely different things. Then they do.
Also, I think I, it's very odd, that tweet from Kemi, where she's saying it's wrong to make jokes about murders, mm. but you can clearly make jokes and score political points about no, a minority. No, she said it's unfair, it's not right, it's immoral to draw a link between a point that Rishi Sunak has made for literally months and then to try okay. and link that because of the fact that Brianna Jai's mother was But she was has in, some nerve when she's the one who introduced the trans guidance in December, which means that's, that's that if you called want being a politician. That's her job. School, you're OK, not look, we, to we've got to bring an end to this part that's of the debate. You guys do. are all staying to, uh, for the next segment where we're going to talk about something less contentious, the royal family. Um, but just for the record, just for the record, if, uh, from my position is, is with the Prime Minister. If you are a woman, you do not have a penis. That's it. Does it make you transphobic? And trans women deserve absolute rights to fairness and equality. Right to the point they want to erode the rights of being a woman. Sorry, that's just what I feel. Let's go to the outbreak. Let's go to the outbreak. <laughs>
Whereas Meghan hasn't once gone to see her own father, yeah. who's reported to oh, be dying. Oh, that is so unfair. 17, yeah, that is 17 so miles unfair. from her front door. The He's thing, been violent. Okay, I'm just saying. I think, I think, I think you may not like it. It's a fact. No, but I think it's difficult to say uh, what... Uh, allow no, us to but talk. the thing is, I think it's difficult to say what they should and shouldn't do, because, I mean, I know what I would do in that situation, but, again, people change, people can forgive. But I think we have to contextualise what William is actually dealing with. He has a, a wife who's basically out of action. He has three young children. He has to take on more responsibility. Yeah. You know, and he has to support his father and Queen Camilla. I can understand... And he may have to that, consider that, the, the possibility now, and he's probably being... Of becoming being a regent, co-regent, yeah. Well, not just maybe well, stepping in to do the duties if the king is incapacitated, yeah. or even if his father, you know, was to... Exactly. tragically so I, die from this I, cancer, I, I, which could happen, then he would be a king in his early 40s, right? I mean, yeah, with three young kids. Right. Which, which, which These are... Difficult. It's a serious time for William. So I, I appreciate that on the t his, his top list of priorities is not really being interested in extending an olive that branch to That is his job, Harry. by the way. No, but the, you because, say that, the, thing, like, because the thing is, like as well, him. there's also the concern, what if Harry has Netflix cameras taping every conversation yeah. that they have? Where is the trust? I wouldn't trust I'm just him saying, as far as I, I can throw him. I can understand that he has more important things to do. I personally, I mean, I'm a Christian, so, you know, I, 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 might, I might send him, I might send him, like, a carrier pigeon being like, I still don't like you, but... Here you go. All right, let me bring but, Paul, let me bring you know, Paul, Paul back in. Is that Christian? I mean, let, yeah. let, me ask, let me ask Paul. <laughs> Paul, what do you think of uh, Meghan, Meghan Markle in all this? I, I, um, I, I think that sometimes forgiveness is letting people lie in the bed that they made. You know, That's not if, if someone I don't know robbed which Bible me, you're yeah. referring to. I, I think if someone robbed me, if somebody robbed me, I don't have to let them back into my house. Right. I, I can forgive you, but it doesn't mean I have to keep dealing with you. Yeah, the idea and William should have to forgive you know, his brother after all he's done. Why should he? No one said he has to, to forgive, forgive his brother. Well, the thing is, as well, what, what, where is this definition of forgiveness? Where have you got this definition of forgiveness from? What's your definition of forgiveness? To, to let go of something that someone has done, not like you have to let them back in your house. But well, that's a strange you let definition. Go of something that someone has done without absolving them of the consequences of doing that. Mm. I'm just, I'm absolutely you know, I, I baffled. I can fully by this forgive someone who robbed me. Without... You can't be baffled. I am. I don't page... know why you're asking about Megan. Because it's the front page of every paper. What Megan's about... up to? Megan is the front... The front page of every paper is about this story. About Why Harry are you baffled? And Do you read the papers? No, the story is that King Charles is unwell, has yeah. cancer, and that we need to wish him our best regards. The story right. isn't, oh, Harry rushed over. Why is yeah. there a news alert from yeah, BBC yeah. telling yeah. us William won't be seeing Harry? Uh, well, I, I, I think, think, I think, because I think, actually, it's I quite think... interesting that the young man who may be king sooner than he would want to be, that his only sibling, they don't. They hate each other so much, they don't even talk. Well, you don't and I know think, they I think, hate I think each other. You know, I, I do you know can, for a fact you right, can, that they you do. Can make the case William certainly that. hates Harry for what he's done. You right? you, I, I think that. you can make the case I know that he Harry, talk to him. Harry has, um, has stressed out his father right. with the release of Spare and all of that. And I don't. Th I think it's a bit ironic that he's rushing over to a side when he's ill, but he didn't really care for his mental okay. health when he was releasing I think that's up to them. As no, but personal, I think that's a fair point. I, I think it's stupid to, to suggest. You know that what? He had a trouble. No, he stayed Charles in a hotel. I don't think he's about made Harry stayed in a hotel on this trip. I suggest next time, given you're such a fan, he comes and stays with you. He is like... more than welcome. Of course he is. <laughs> and also Megan, I will roll out a red carpet. Oh, of course you would. Oh, yeah, of course. All hypocrites yeah. stick together. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you.